Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys about the reworks to the Saboteur Ascendancy for 3.8. Now if you guys did not know, they have redone mines in, like completely uh, for this upcoming league. Mines are pretty much grenades now. They're not placed at your feet. They're thrown. Um, they now activate auras, basically scaling up of aura effect depending on the type that you use. Uh, and with that being said, they are also redoing part of the Saboteur Ascendancy, and that's what we're here to talk about today. Uh, before I start, I apologize if my fan is a little too loud. I had a Windows update that actually changed something in my BIOS, so I gotta go back into my BIOS and lower the speed of my uh, case fans. I think that's what it is. So we're looking at this sheet right here off of Reddit. Uh, basically, it's the sheet that GG posted, but it comes with the set of changes that people have shown. Um, so let's go ahead and start. So, uh, for the first thing to say is for pretty much every single trap and mine build that you will play, uh, the reason why people would pick Saboteur for an Ascendancy over, say, I don't know, Inquisitor or anything else, is because Saboteur offers you something called Quality of Life. Quality of Life means that it grants easy access to what you're playing and makes the build feel better. Whether it be it gives you sustain, or it gives you immunity, or it gives you movement speed. In Sab's case, it gives you pretty much all of that. It gives you regeneration. Via, if you look at Pyromaniac here, number 10. Wait, oh, never mind. Pyromaniac's number 8. So if you look at Pyromaniac here, Pyromaniac used to give us 20% life regen, uh, essentially as long as you're placing mines, which is all the time because you have minefield or traps. Uh, reduced mana cost of... Reduced mana cost of skills that throw traps. Wait. Oh, okay, so it, it shows both ways. Never mind, I got confused for a second. I was like, what? But it shows both for traps and mines. Um, so essentially, the reason why this is so important is because as a trapper and miner, you cannot leech. It's like not possible. You, you don't have leech. I think there are these new gloves now. I, I don't know, maybe they're not new. Maybe they've been out for a while, but there are gloves here that give you the ability to leech. And before, the way you would sustain life on traps was tinker skin. Uh, which recovers 100 life whenever your trap is triggered by an enemy. So these are your two main sustain items uh, that if you don't want to play around Pyromaniac or if you have Pyromaniac but you want more. So what did this patch do essentially? Well, the first thing it did is, is it cut 10% off of the life regen off of Pyromaniac, which now puts us at 10% life regen instead of 20%. Now before I go on and say anything, I'm not like super pissed off at this, but this does seem kind of silly because I don't really understand like tr for, for one traps are not really super played like they are very strong in their niche but they're not like super played um, same thing with mines now the other thing I will state though is that I don't think this is the biggest difference in the world mainly because I'll be honest in Path of Exile if you usually die because you get one shot you don't die because you are not leeching you just flat out die right whether you're playing greedy to keep up your fortify or you're trying to off screen you usually get one shot so not mechanically build changing but kind of sucks so let's go ahead and start how i would build a bomb or well, sorry a mine character so we'd go pyromaniac and then i'd probably go three four into five six so we're just going to look at three four and five six so three four is pretty much the exact same three is a baby node here they just basically change laying speed to throwing speed because you throw mines now uh, bomb specialist used to be 8% um, AOE per map. Now it's 4% AOE. Personally, it doesn't really matter that this got nerfed a little bit. Um, it, it got nerfed because you can now throw mines way faster. It's so weird saying throw mines. You can use mines way faster now. Uh, and on top of that, I think most of the new ones are AOE. Before, this was really niche because, like, a lot of mines aren't AOE. Like, just as an example, say, use freeze pulse mine or ice spear mine. Those are not AOE, they're projectiles. Um, increased mine throwing speed if you have detonated mines recently that's pretty good that's basically the same uh, increased damage if you've detonated recently increased mine detonation speed so this is kind of weird because they said mine detonation speed is now instant and they said that they removed that node from the tree so I don't know what this means I don't know if this means like if this is like the delay between I, I really don't know what this means Ho hopefully this is not a bug and it just makes it feel better uh, they removed the you can have two additional remote mines placed. I think the default now is like 15 mines at once, which is really cool. Uh, so that's this note here. Five is completely done. So demolition specialist. This is pretty much besides besides six and 14. This is pretty much the only thing that really has gotten a major change in here. And of course, our mini mech nerfed. So demolition specialist. 
100% increased effective auras from mines. So mines are now kind of like auras, where basically the new mines that are coming out, when you throw them, when they're on the floor, they have a persisting debuff on the targets, like in an area uh, that stacks, and that persisting debuff scales off of aura effect. I think shock is damage multiplier, uh, ice is... Uh, crit chance and fire is I do not remember but that's pretty cool because it kind of gives you another way of scaling crit where you can scale crit with aura effect pretty cool actually um, I, I do like that synergy I'm not gonna lie so increased effect of auras from mines mines hinder enemies near them for two seconds when they land reducing movement speed by 40% so I would like to explain how much I like this node like I like I need like a pause for a second a lot of people would always ask me what is like the number one tip I would give someone who's playing a trap build or a mind build and I'd always say run blasphemy temporal chains because I notice a lot of people die in Path of Exile because they get surrounded. It's not hard to do damage in PoE, right? Like that that usually is never the case um, unless you're playing SSF or you know whatever you're limiting yourself but usually it's not difficult to get damage it's more difficult to not die. Preventing the monsters from coming at you is preventing yourself from dying. So being as me, I would always run Temporal Chains. I don't have to run that anymore. I have Hinder. Hin Hinder should be pretty much as good as Temporal Chains, if not better, um, which allows Mind Over Matter to be a much better option. Um, now, the only thing about Mind Over Matter is mines now reserve, I think they say, 1-3% to mana per mine. I don't know if that's before your links, which would multiply that one to three to like six to nine or i don't know even higher plus the fact that you can have 15 mines default and 25 plus i think have cap so i'm really concerned about that because uh survivability for a mine build and a trap build was always kind of sketchy you always had the option of going mind over matter which was good you know with cloak of defiance um you could get like 9k effective life relatively easily um so that's probably the go-to option I also made mines a lot easier on the mana pool, so mind over, map should, mind over matter should be a great option. The only concern is, again, um, how much the reservation actually scales to, because it would be really sick, really shit, essentially. Imagine you're mapping, you're doing a T11 map, there's a triple essence, so you go over to the triple essence and you throw down 21 mines, and because you throw down 21 mines, you're reserving 87% of your mana, you open the essence and it just fucking one taps you, because, you know, 2.5k of your effective life is being reserved so i hope that that's not the case and maybe it's like a st static amount um but we'll see uh so this is really cool i like this before it was chance um chance when placing mines to place an additional mine and increase arming speed so arming speed i don't think is a thing anymore i think arming speed is completely deleted from the game unless it's showing itself on the uniques that they said they're touching up on one of them was uh Tremorod. Um, I hope it's not a thing anymore because this was a big reason to play Sav, which kind of guts customization a little. Um, and then 20% chance when placing mines to place an additional mine. So a lot of people would say that this is a nerf because this is a damage multiplier. I'm pretty sure the new Skitterbots actually do that. Uh, Skitterbots, I think, have a chance when uh, arming mines to rearm a mine, but it doesn't add to the detonation sequence. Okay, going on to number 8. So we already kind of talked about Pyromaniac, TLDR. They gutted the maximum life regen by 10%. We still have the immune to ignite. We still have the immune to shock. Um, so essentially, we're trading 10% max life per second for hinder. So I would probably say that maybe even it's better for map clearing and worse for bossing. Because I don't think hinder matters too much against bosses. Um, unless, of course, you can kite them. It depends. A lot of scenarios that have like an area you cannot really leave, it doesn't necessarily matter. <coughs> Uh, perfect crime number 10 so literally nothing got touched here this is the same and this is the same this is pretty shit to be honest this needs to kind of get updated because the big problem with chain reaction is when it says here skills used by your traps have increased area of effect when your traps trigger your nearby traps also trigger this says Recover a hundred life when your trap is triggered by an enemy. So for those of you guys who don't know This is like pretty much the go-to item for trap builds tinker skin It's you know a chess piece that is built around traps. Well the big problem with tinker skin is it says that When traps are triggered by an enemy and the ascendancy itself literally conflicts with it because it says When your traps trigger your nearby traps trigger 
that means your traps are triggering your traps, not an enemy is triggering your trap. Which means if you go chain reaction, think your skin, it literally doesn't work. So that's just kind of, that's something I was expecting to see updated here. Um, you know, like kind of fixing some of the old stuff. But I guess they don't want, I mean, my guess is they don't want you to get chain reaction and they want you to get this new node that we're going to talk about here, Explosive Expert. Uh, we're basically used, so now it's 30% AOE, it used to be 20%. Um, <clears throat> it used to be 10% reduced damage taken from traps or mines. Now it's 8% reduced area damage taken from hits. That's really cool. Um, but I can't really get that with a mine build, unfortunately, because I would go like Pyromaniac, Bomb Specialist, and Born of the Shadows. Let's see, 30% chance to critical strike multiplier against burning enemies. So that's cool. Pretty much you can get, as long as you're playing a crit build, as long and you get like one to two fire damage, you will um, burn enemies. So this is essentially a damage multiplier, unless you're using Ellie Focus. 80% increased critical strike chance against shocked enemies. Shock as well should not be the most difficult thing to get, especially if you're playing a lightning skill. Um, because the lightning skill, if you have one to two flat fire or if you're using call the brotherhood if you have call the brotherhood you pretty much get all of this for the most part um so this is pretty sick 80 percent increased critical strike chance against shocked enemies and damage penetrates 10 percent elemental resistance against chill so i like this rework here i just wish i could actually get it on the character that's really about it um and then there's born the shadows which i didn't really talk about but it's has not been changed it's really really strong it's basically cannot be blinded Reduced damage taken from uh, reduced damage taken from blinded enemies. Re increased damage with hits and ailments against blinded enemies. Chance to blind enemies on hit and nearby enemies are blinded. Um, there is also the option of running flesh and stone. I think it is, and using the blind if you don't want to use this. But I think it's the other way around. I think it's enemies that are not blinded deal reduced damage, where this is enemies that are blinded deal reduced damage. Either way, we shouldn't have Legion mobs one-shotting us off-screen with spears anymore, so this should be a lot stronger now as well. Uh, so now I kind of want to talk about like what Reddit is basically going over, because this is kind of where I got my information from, and I noticed that people were not very happy in here. So like, basically the, the rundown of what Reddit is saying is, uh, why are you nerfing a class or an ascendancy that has 0.4% play like selection? Like basically nobody plays Septor. Septor actually got nerfed. Um, thanks for making me focus on WoW Classic. 0.8 user of traps this league, and you still can't keep your hands off it. Um, played mind builds forever, and honestly, don't think they needed any changes. Yeah, I like this guy. It's very disappointing. I thought they learned better to make. Uh -huh. So, what do, what do you guys think, out of curiosity, on this? Because. The, the thing is, is I wasn't expecting a big rework after I saw, like, the fact that they're reworking mines in general and they're adding skitterbots. That already seems like it's going to be huge for the quality of life, right? I think I think people are exaggerating too much. I, I can understand if they're only yelling about Pyromaniac. Only complaining about Pyromaniac is understandable. But for everything else, I don't know. I think, I think a lot of people... Uh, I think a lot of people just have not played mines before and they're just looking at numbers and they're seeing numbers get reduced um, and that's the thing I will talk about one other thing though they said that they're they said that they're going to be adding um, like a, a lot more stuff onto the passive tree I really hope that there's some way we can just get more effective life earlier maybe for I don't know if I want it for shadows or if I just want it for trap and mine builds in general uh, or maybe like a trap and mine specific node that reduces damage we take for using traps and mines. Like for example, I don't know, you take reduced damage taken while every, no. you take like 6% reduced damage taken from hits and ailments if you have placed a mine recently or something. Not like anything that you want to stack, but just something to, you know, help out a little bit. Because it, it sucks seeing that like, in my opinion, it sucks seeing that there's a explosive expert, the new one that reduces damage taken but there's literally no way you can get it. Like you, you cannot, unless you're dropping blind, which is like arguably much more defensive than this and gives you better mitigation. Unless you're dropping Pyromaniac, which is freeing up basically two flask, uh, two flask uh, affixes that could give you like iron skin or reflexes or something else that I don't really think is worth. So that's the only thing I don't really like. Anyway though, 
Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. I was going to go ahead and talk about the other classes that were changed as well, but this video kind of took up some time, so I'll make a separate video for the, uh, where is it here? For the Raider and the Necromancer. Actually, haven't even looked at these yet. I don't think I'll really play Raider, but Necromancer seems pretty cool. I haven't looked at any of this yet. And I did get a little sneak peek on Raider, the one cool thing, oh no, Deadeye. The one cool thing about Deadeye now is Ricochet and Endless Munitions work for minion builds now. So if you pay, play like a Raider Summoner, like for example, uh, Null's Inclination, this actually works for your minions. I read it on a, I don't know where I read it, but somewhere they posted it saying that it works now, so that's pretty cool. Anyway though, I'm gonna catch you guys all later. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox, except Saturdays. Anyway, take care, boys.